Hey family, how are you? Happy day two of every day in June with Jizz Jazzy. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> are we gay or are we gay? So of course, because it's Pride Month, we out doing Pride teams. And we are in a location, my favorite location thus far. And we are doing, what's that? Oh, that is so cute, somebody having something. So we are going to be doing Pride Month at every borough. Do you know that they have Brooklyn Pride, Manhattan Pride, Queens Pride, Staten Island Pride, Bronx Pride? I never do that. I always thought they just had Manhattan Pride. So today we are in Staten Island Pride. I love being gay. Remember when you was younger, people were like, no, you gay, no, you gay. I am gay. I'm happy. Follow the flag. Just ask them. Say, hey, are you gay today? I don't know what the name of this park is, but it is beautiful, and I'm loving it. Oh, look at this. It says Staten Island Museum at Snug Harbor. Wow. But is it a museum of what? What? Say it again. What'd you say? You said there's not no goddamn park? Yeah, the curse words is unnecessary. Harder. Bless you. Oh, wow. Kaisha. We have a situation. As a mom, I know. This shit is spooky. It's giving on all the SVU vibes. I never ever leave home without wet wipes. The one time I did. Literally. And I'm pissed. So y'all know I'm really fascinated by like new places and new things. And I've never been here before and I have no clue what this is. But look at it. It's giving very much. Oh, it's a restroom. <laughs> giving very much vintage vibes it's giving you know somebody will take your bungalows if you come out here a little too late at night but it's so fascinating to me okay i gotta pee because i had an alcoholic beverage and i'm the type of person i drink i can't stop peeing so it's a good thing i know where the bathroom at okay the bathroom is near building d oh this is so creepy but i love it what's in here y'all what's this Oh, wow. Y'all think this is a jail? Is there a jail over here? Can I read this artifact right here? Because it's given jail. What is this? Please tell me. Y'all know I'm dyslexic. Okay, so many words for me. Oh, wow. I ain't seen not one black person yet. Y'all know I'm all about diversity. I love my lighter folks, but I need a little bit of melanin for this little gelatin. Wow. I, you already know I hear the music. We're about to be fist pumping to Katy Perry. Okay. I can get with it. I can get with it. Y'all know. I adapt to my environment. Out of all days, I decided to put on flip flops. I know damn well I should have put some sneakers on my feet. I love events like this, but sometimes I wish people could look at me and tell I'm gay. Like, you look at Kaisha, you like, oh, yeah, she gay. You look at me, you can't tell. Oh, my God, there's a bull. I've never rode a bull, and if I was drunk enough, I absolutely would do it. I promise you I would do it, but I'm not that drunk. Just say, I would, let me see, babe. I always wanted to do this. This is so freaking cool. I've never seen nobody do this like in person. I've never seen this. I've always seen it like on TV or something. So I'm excited to see this. Oh my gosh. This is so freaking cute. They left me. Yeah, that'll be me, girl. In my back, big bookie. I feel you. I'll be the same way, hon. I can't get up there. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we ain't get it. It's okay. Excuse me, someone dropped their phone. It was just sitting there. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. I am in love right now. Look at the vendors. I know I'm looking for the food. Why the fuck? Why would they leave me? Oh, look, food, beer, wine, rainbow. Where did they go? Why would they, why would they leave me? Oh, look, they got stuff to drink right here. They got empanadas, they got mac and cheese truck. They have 
looks up here. This is different, but I like the pace. I like that it's slow. I like it. Debbie Rose James is a huge advocate of injustices and all if you, do you not hold any fear? She walks into a random place. We don't know where we are or what this is. She just walks in because we have to use the restroom. There's no cameras. It smells like shit. Faith, don't ever do that again, okay? You just walked in. Go. Is this the room? It's safe. The don't ever just wait. <laughs> Faith, shut up. This is the scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. Don't ever just walk <laughs> and without it stink. me. So guys, it was a success story. We made it out alive. Faith is a nut job because why would you ever just walk in this? God. Say high voltage, keep away. Let me tell you something. If a random place like this was in New York City, first of all, the bathroom was clean. If this was a place in, in Brooklyn, I'm saying in New York City, like this is in New York City. If this was a place like Brooklyn, <laughs> mm, 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 the crackheads would have been, that would have been a living dwelling. They would have been right down here chilling. Do you understand? Um, I'm not big on Staten Island. Probably only been here two times in my life. So I don't really know anything about Staten Island. If you know some fun facts or some amazing things that I should know, please drop it in the comment section below because y'all know I'm always down for learning something amazing. So this was our first time ever doing Staten Island Pride. For it to be like a whole island, right? Because it's Staten Island. Which I got like 30 gay people out here because Brooklyn is crazy y'all seen me go to brooklyn pride last year manhattan pride out of this world staten island pride yep 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 so i'm guessing there's not too many queers out here mm. okay you learn something new every day and staten island is giving me north carolina vibes a little bit like the atmosphere the vibes the people they might be on to something I, I, I think I love this. And it's still very much a part of the five boroughs. So ain't that crazy? Like, have I been missing out on something my entire life? I think I have. Come on, babe. Look at this. You want to get married? Look, you want to get married? There's a whole spot to get married. Oh, it is. Yeah. This is a spot to get married. No, it's not. Look. Mommy, come. Baby, I'm coming. I'm trying to plan our next wedding. Look at this. Look. Oh, shit. They beating us to it. They about to get married before us. Oh, wow. Look how cute this is. We can literally get married right here. What's the people that get you married? A ordain now? I made that word up. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm for it. Look at this. This is so cute. And it's called the Northfield Bank Foundation for its generous sponsorship of the Rose Garden. Look, it's the Rose Garden. Wow. Look. Your mom could sit right there and I'm going to put my mother ashes next to her. Because I'll be damned if my mother not going to be here. Look. How beautiful is this? First of all, where you see... How is this a cemetery? Where do you see a grave at? Now you making stuff up. I look stupid. Where do you see a cemetery? I mean a grave at. Show me. Hmm? Where you see a grave? Oh, look at that. That's water. That's a lot of fungus and E. coli. E. coli. Yeah, you, you know, I've been on TikTok. Ooh. I don't know. I can't see it. What is that? That's a turkey? I think so. Look, look, Kara, look on the side. Niggas just got turkeys walking Kara, look around. Out the window. 
Hurry up, it's a turkey. Oh. Oh. It's really a turkey just walking grab around. Grab it, get out the car, grab it. I'm going to cook it for Thanksgiving. What the heck is going on? But why is but the turkey just from? walking around? Did it escape from somewhere? Maybe they got pet turkeys in Staten Island. Can somebody grab no, it? No, don't yell, don't yell. They roll it up. You can roll it up. Roll it down. It's not going to catch you. Kyra, look. Kyra, look. No, don't roll it down, Carter. Don't roll it down. Oh, shit. See? Babe, get the... Babe, hey, that fucking turkey ain't thick. Shamir, look. see? When that shit fly in, don't say nothing. You know that wings go mouse. Just having turkeys randomly walking Where around. Where are you going, bro? Turkey. Look, Cairo, look at the turkey. Shut up, turkey. I'm going to keep it so I can cook it for Thanksgiving. Ooh. But what happened to it? Why is that the thing? Turkey. Well, we don't know if it's... Oh, look. Turkey. Look. Turkey. Look. He, look, it's Norm. That's his nigga. Turkey. Look. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He's like, no, he's gonna text the community, hey guys, anyone missing their turkey? It's on Fifth Avenue and 76. He's just walking by. She's like, hey guys, there's a fucking turkey out here. Look at this dude. Nah. He's following. Carter, that's not nice. I thought you was an animal activist. I'm not. I'm gonna eat it. Wait, they're babe. looking for their friends. Let's see what we have in store. Wait, they're somebody got turkeys, them. babe. Hi, fellas. Yeah, babe, stop being scared. No, babe, stop, stop, stop. Babe, they're not. Babe, you too don't scared. Hello. Don't yell. It's looking Hi. for his friends. Hi. I, I love you. But why is this? this... Okay, y'all, we are back from Staten Island. And I'm feeling kind of blah today. I genuinely love giving y'all these vlogs in real time because I feel like we really get to connect, connect, like really connect. Today is, I don't want to keep saying what the day is because y'all know I can't never get it right. Today is the third, I believe. Um, Pride was cool. Today I'm feeling really blah. Um, I, I, I'm trying not to complain because I know everything is a process and this is so new for me. Like I've never done this. And sometimes you look at other people that do stuff and you be like, damn, she doing her big one. Please don't let this internet stuff persuade you. I look at people on the internet that literally, I've seen them move 27 times with their kids. Like get up, dip, be moving. And I'm like, bro, how are you doing? How are you doing this? And you make it look so easy. This is my first time and every time, I kid you not. It's like I take five steps forward to take 10 steps back and I get so discouraged. At times, it really feel like it's so easy to give up. I, I really wanna let y'all know that giving up is the easiest thing that you can do. And it feels like the right thing. Cause you know how many times, like if you want me to keep it a buck with you, you know how many times I felt like, listen, I mind F myself and said, I might as well stay in this two bedroom apartment and pay my $1,200 in rent. My daughter is about to be off to college in another year. I'm here, it's the hood that I know. It's like this piss poor mentality. And I, I know I'm at my breaking point because even being outside disgusts me. Like I wanna see my kids play in a yard. I want space, I, I need to move to this next level in life. But every time I get there, things feel like it's just looking up. I get knocked 10 steps back and it's like, I be confused like, is this the devil or is this God? Because, God, are you trying to tell me that this ain't the right thing to do? Or is this the devil trying to trick me? And sometimes as a human, it's hard to decipher the difference. I'm like constantly asking God for the clarity to know the difference. And I tell you, it ain't easy. Don't let nobody make their process. People will lie to you. That's number one. They will lie to you. They will lie. <laughs> They will lie and tell you like, oh yeah, girl, cause I got moved, I got up and I moved to Pentatuckyville and me and my four kids with two dollars in our pocket. Meanwhile, they lied. They didn't tell you that they had a Section Eight voucher, and they transferred it out of state, and they've been saving for eight years. Like, they leave big chunks out of the story. And today was one of those days where I just feel knocked down, but I know I'm gonna be better. I know things are going to get better. I am feeling like. 
Mm. Like, bro. Anyway, I'm about to be on my way to said location because thank y'all for even giving me the strength to not overshare because I have that problem because I, I just love being transparent and I'm learning that people do not want what's best for you because I've had crazy things that has happened to me since I started revealing locations. So I'm keeping this one to myself. And um, I'm going to meet with the broker and the landlord to try to work something out because at first it was one month's rent one, one month's rent one month security and broker's fee and then once my credit got ran now it's two months um security fee i don't have i barely have the money to do this remember i was supposed to be moving in august it gave me enough time to save the money we are in june the beginning of june so i don't even have all of that money and it's like i'm gonna try to talk to him make some type of agreement i i feel discouraged that's what i feel I genuinely do and today is just one of those days but I know that tomorrow will be better I'll keep you guys updated I'll let you know how this works this is gonna be one of them times where I'm probably not gonna vlog the ride I'm gonna put my phone down and I'm gonna clear my mind and I'm gonna pray the whole ride I'm gonna pray sometimes I think like y'all know I'm not a saint and I'm not the holiest of them all and Lord knows I got my backpack and my outfit ready for the first seat in hell but I got a zeal for the Lord and I know who my faith resides in so I'm gonna take this time to just clear my head and use this ride just to stand in prayer <sighs> I'll see you guys tomorrow